Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I made a mistake. I made a boo-boo. I was supposed to save the video I did before this, and I didn't, and I just hit start. So, oh well, we're going to have to live without that. It wasn't that long. I do have to talk to you guys about something. Guys, it is all in the words, and we've been saying things wrong. Let me let me share something with you guys real quick. If y'all if y'all don't mind, we'll come back to Chat GPT in a second because that's where we're gonna be. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do U C C nine dash one zero two. Go ahead enter. We're gonna go to Cornell Law, which is the first one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a trip down to sixty five. Okay, U C C Article nine, section one zero two, subsection sixty five. That's gonna be a ways down but it's in numerical order, promissory notes. It's in numerical order and alphabetical order at the same time, believe it or not. Promissory notes means an instrument, so it's an instrument. So keep that in mind, it's an instrument. Don't worry about that, but just keep it in mind. That evidence is a promise to pay a monetary obligation. So you, you have to, it has to be monetary. It has to have a monetary value to be a promissory note. Yay, okay, fine, fine, hold on now, that's a promissory note. We're not going to talk about promissory notes today. I promise. Okay, but hold on. Yeah, that's right. It was a play on words, unintentional. But hold on. A promissory note does not evidence an order to pay or a pay to the order. Does not evidence an order. And it does not contain an acknowledgement by a bank. Hey, paid. <laughs> we paid for this mother. That, 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 that's not a promissory note. But it is an instrument. Okay, so let's click on what an instrument is. Y'all don't mind? An instrument. An instrument means a negotiable instrument or any other writing that evidenced the right to the payment of a monetary obligation. Not the promise to a payment, but the right to a payment and is not itself a security agreement or a lease and is of a type that in the ordinary course of business is transferred by delivery to any necessary endorsement or assignment. Your note is an instrument, but let's find out exactly what type of instrument it is. Y'all don't mind? Let's go. We're going to go backwards for a second. Got to go twice backwards. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to put the number three. Article three hyphen 104. Okay. Article three is 104. United States. I mean, Uniform Commercial Code. All right. These are definitions as well. Oh, that's still 9102. I said Article three, Section 104 and it didn't go there. So hold on. Let's do it again. Three hyphen Enter. I just got to be a little bit more patient. I'm moving too fast and the system can't keep up with me. See, I, I hit it there when I should have waited. I should have waited. You should have waited and see how we're waiting. Just waiting. Jeopardy is going to be on in a second. Yep. Alex Trebek. You're back from the... Oh, there you go. Alex, y'all. Okay. It's going to take its time because it sees what I'm doing. So y'all hold on. Because it, it's stupid like that. See how I tried to pause y'all and it wouldn't let me? And look at that. It didn't even go to the page. Y'all see what it did? They're having trouble finding. It found everything else a second ago. Why is it trying not to let me show y'all this? I don't know, y'all. Y'all watching it the same as me. It went to everything else with no problem. But then all of a sudden, I'm trying to show y'all number E. E, 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 E. An instrument is a note. If it is a promise, pay attention, or it is a draft, if it is an order. You guys are going in there talking about a promissory note, letting them say promissory note to you when it's a draft. Hold on now. It's a draft, people. It has an order on it. It's a draft. Stop calling it a promissory note. If you have paid to the order on your note, it's a draft. Stop calling it a promissory note. It's called a financial instrument. Pay attention. Everything is in the words. Use the correct word, people. It's a draft. It's no longer a promise. It can't be a promise if it has an order. Let's find out what an order is. This one right here means a written instruction to pay money signed by the person giving the instructions. Pay to the order of is an order, people. An instruction may be addressed to any person, including the person giving the instruction or to one or more persons jointly or inadvertently, but, in the alternative, excuse me, but not 
secession, in secession, in secession. And authorization to pay is not an order unless the person authorizing to pay is also instructed to pay. Pay to the order of is an instructive order. It's an instrument. It is a draft. Stop calling it a promissory note. I promise you, you're going to get some act right when you know what you're doing. So let's talk about it, shall we? This is my fault. It's been there the whole time. Y'all know it's been there the whole time. I know it's been there the whole time. It's my fault because I've been so busy. I've been doing so many things. I've been running and ripping and running. And I got people in the e e UK, not the EK, the UK, that's asking me about the new trust. Can it be applied to them? And I told them, yes. Now I got to go and apply it for them so that we'll have one for the people for the UK. Ta-da! So I got work to do, people. But hold on. That, I just need to find the day and the time where I'm not so distracted like today. I was doing a consult and this thing came up. And while it came up, I was having that conversation. I got to redo this whole motion right here. Lord have mercy. But we're going to talk about chat GPT, okay? Let, let me see if he can tell y'all what's going on. Come on, idiot. I just had to create a motion. I told him, I said, hey, I need you to create this motion. It's going to be a universal motion petition regarding newly exculpatory evidence. Ladies and gentlemen, why newly exculpatory evidence? We're petitioning for an emergency hearing based on newly discovered material exculpatory evidence. Why? Because they introduced a promissory note onto the record saying that it was evidence of a debt. When there's an order on a promissory note, that's not a promissory note, which means it's inadmissible as evidence of a debt. You see, you can't use a draft to prove that somebody owes you money. And <laughs> that means they have to negotiate it. That's not your business. You ain't responsible for it once you deliver it. So they put something on the record that doesn't evidence a debt, which means they couldn't have foreclosed on you if they did. So if they did foreclose on you, I'm going to give you guys this. You can read it. You can put this into the record and go back into the same case because this is a jurisdictional issue. Whether or not the court had jurisdiction, that's all this is. Ta-da. Okay? Where's my jurisdictional challenge? Uh-uh. Constitutional challenge. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Let's see. Petitioner due process rights under the Fifth Amendment and Fourteenth Amendment. I ain't said nothing about no Fourteenth Amendment. Y'all don't put that... 14th Amendment. Due process is under the 5th Amendment, not the 14th Amendment. Uh, mandate proof of outstanding debt. Let me, let me correct that now. Wake up. Wake up. And if you mention the Constitution, you will mention the First Amendment, comma, the Fifth Amendment, comma, you will not mention the Fourteenth Amendment because the Fourteenth Amendment does not apply in this situation. Is that understood? Question mark, period. Further, comma, you will document that anyone bringing forth a claim of an outstanding debt is bringing forth a jurisdictional challenge or a jurisdictional issue, comma, because the person claiming that there is an outstanding debt has the duty and responsibility of proving the existence of the debt in the first instance, as the burden of proof is on that individual, period. Should they fail to prove it, an individual has a right to challenge their standing, comma, standing is a jurisdictional issue, comma, you did not mention any of this and you did not add the two case citations per point that i told you to add comma stop wasting my time stupid idiot stop listening sorry they really have trained chat gpt to be very stupid okay and i, I really do mean that they really have changed him uh trained him to be very stupid now he didn't put the the request to strike the promissory note from evidence because it's not evidence of a debt it wasn't a promissory note okay so we're gonna give this to y'all I don't already explained what the issues are you're gonna create the motion for yourself I'm not gonna do it for you I've already done my work 
ladies and gentlemen, you won't hear nobody else talking about this, but you'll hear me talking about how if even if you've lost your home, you can go back in court and let's say the court ignores you. Now you get to appeal on these issues. And trust me, these are sound enough issues for you to get some act right. But you can get that stupid promissory note that they kept waving in your face. You can get that removed from the record. Going through uh, foreclosure right now at this moment, this is what you do, people. All right, don't say I ain't did nothing for y'all. Y'all going to have the shortened link in here so that y'all can do what y'all need to do. But there you go. I will get this one notarized. Okay. Citations for promissory notes as a draft. Discusses the nature of promissory notes and drafts under the UCC. Addresses the classification of financial instruments. And discusses jurisdictional challenge and the burden of proof. Reinforces the requirements for disclosure of exculpatory evidence. I don't want the refocusing on. Nah, I'm going to keep this one, but we're going we gonna to give you all more than one. Wake up. Wake up. Did I tell you to add nuances? Comma, did I tell you to ad lib? Comma, did I tell you to bring up any other arguments and or points other than what I told you to do? Question mark, period. Then why would you bring up all of this other junk that I had not instructed you to introduce? Exclamation mark. Do exactly what I told you, specifically what I told you, and do not step outside those boundaries. Is that understood? Comma, that's why I keep calling you a stupid idiot, because a stupid idiot is someone who keeps doing the same stupid stuff all at the same stupid time because it ain't got nothing better to do because it's just that stupid. Comma, stupid. Period. Stop listening. Sorry, we just had to get an understanding. Whew, man, look at how fast he's going now. Interesting. So I would use this one because you're going to find this one is more in line with the point we're trying to get across. And he's not going to be so akin to making it seem different than what it really is. Okay. Let's see. And okay. I, I, I can he's doing the same thing for the most part, but I can live with that because I do hereby certify verify in the penalty of perjury. We're gonna get rid of this penalty of perjury. Do not do it under nobody's penalty of perjury. Do it under penalty as witness by and before God. Because you're saying you're doing it under God's penalties, not their penalties. Okay. I'd rather be answerable to him than be answerable to any stupid man. Gotta go.